Hi guys, I'm Seat from Warhawk Defense. We have another update on the situation in Ukraine. As Russia unleashed devastating attacks across Ukraine in the new year, Ukraine fought back. The Russian Belgorod region is traditional target for the Ukrainian armed forces. In the video, we have more update on the situation. So, let's see the footage. Ukrainian forces continued their relentless attacks on Russian bases inside Ukraine, but also inside Russian territory. Novair is safe, and Ukrainian drones strike the logistics base of one of the units of the 1st Tank Army of Russia in Russian Belgorod region. The main blow was inflicted on the territory of the fuel and lubricants warehouse. From there, the fire quickly spread to the neighboring building, where the Ural Gazi 66 was being repaired. As a result of the impact, several vehicles burned completely. Eight servicemen who were in the fuel and lubricant warehouse received burns of varying degrees of severity. At least one of the injured died in the Shebekino hospital. In Belgorod, sappers began eliminating unexploded shells. Russian socials wrote about three fab bombs that fell from a Russian bomber and began to be transported to the test site. The governor of the city of Gladkov did not comment on the appearance of the shells, noting only that, as soon as it is safe, we will begin to return residents to their homes. This are the remains of the main parts of the 300mm MLRS Vilka missiles and the unexploded 9H-235 cartridges that fill them were found in Belgorod. And more good news, Ukrainian agents burned down a Russian Su-34 fighter bomber last night at an airfield in Chelyabinsk, deep inside Russia near the Ural Mountains. The plane was worth $35 million. Striking deep behind enemy lines is always a good idea. Another one Russian 240mm 2S4 Tiulpan self-propelled artillery system with crew was annihilated by Ukrainian soldiers with M142 HIMARS MLRS in Donetsk direction. 2S4. Tiulpan is designed to destroy the most fortified fortifications. Let's continue. Malfunction of the Russian anti-drone cage. T-72B3, Stepove area, Avdivka front. And after massive Russian strikes on Ukrainian infrastructure, Ukrainian guerrilla is showing that two can play that game. Multiple Russian telegram channels report that an electrical substation in Moscow caught fire. 20 multi-story buildings in three districts are without electricity and water. It was 16 degrees Fahrenheit in Moscow at the time of the attack. So yeah, remember how there were rumors of Ukrainian forces helping partisans fight Wagner in Sudan? They're now congratulating the main directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, Budanov, on his birthday. Twenty twenty three was the year of relentless Russian terrorism. Twenty twenty four will be the year we defeat the terrorists. If some U.S. weapons are at or past their expiration date, they should be donated to Ukraine rather than be destroyed. Ex-Commanding General U.S. European Command Ben Hodges in an exclusive comment to Ukraine Forum. But the most important contribution that the United States and Germany could make to Ukraine would be to say that 
we want Ukraine to actually win this war. That is in our strategic interest that Ukraine is successful. That that would be the most significant uh, contribution because. Number one, that would open the gates for the aid that uh, the material aid that Ukraine needs. And it would also send a strong signal to Russia uh, that their hopes that the West is losing will, that the West is uh, wavering in the support. The Russian hopes for that would be shattered. And so that their their war of attrition strategy um, is going to fail in terms of material contributions. There is, of course, no one weapon or one platform that would that would change everything. It's a combination of air, land and sea power. But certainly um, at the top of my list would be long range pre precision strike capability out to a range of at least 300 kilometers. So we're talking about Atakums and Taurus uh, with those weapons. No caption needed here. That's the second time he meets his son after his birth. So, as we said in the video, when Ukraine strikes back, that too can play that game. Stay with Warhawk Defense for more updates, comment, like, subscribe, and of course, stay strong. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.